Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Palazzolo with the LSU Ag Center. I'm the pecan extension specialist for the state of Louisiana. Fall, especially November and Thanksgiving, are strongly associated with pecans. Traditionally, most people planting pecans would prefer a large, thin-shelled variety. But in the humid south, disease resistance, especially resistance to scab, is increasingly becoming a factor we need to consider with home plantings. When looking for pecan trees to plant in your yard, there's many different factors to consider, but probably the most important one is cultivar selection. This tree here is an Elliott grafted pecan tree. It's important to get a grafted pecan tree because a seedling can take 10 to 15 years to make pecans and you don't know what you're going to get. Now, all named varieties will be grafted trees. There's several different ways to graft pecans. This one in particular is a whip and tongue, and we can identify the graft right here. It's important to be able to identify where your graft union is on all grafted fruit trees to be able to maintain their health and prevent the root stop from putting any suckers up. Some cultivars that I recommend include Elliott, Gafford, Macmillan and Jackson. I hope to have some native adapted selections to add to that list in the future. It's important to remember that whatever you're planting to ensure that there's a good pollinator nearby to ensure that you get nice full pecans in the fall. If you need help with a selection feel free to contact us at the LSU Ag Center and we can help you navigate the planting and cultivar selection process. Hi, my name is Katie Guidry and I'm an area nutrition agent with the LSU Ag Center. And today I have Taylor Lejeune, who's a dietetic intern with Fray and You. One of our favorite flavors of the holidays is the taste of Louisiana pecans. And today we're going to show you how to make a sweet potato pecan pie. Eating pecans increases your metabolism and keeps you fuller longer. Pecans also increase your immune system, which help protect against infection and disease. Now let's get cooking. After 50 minutes to an hour, you can take your pie out of the oven and now you have a delicious dessert to bring to your next family event. 